Hello everyone. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to connect a CMT FHDX220 to a third-party touch display. During this demonstration, I'm going to use a 19.5-inch touch display from Hope Industrial Systems. The exact model of this unit is HIS UM19.5-CTBA. For more information about Hope Industrial Systems, please see the description below, and to find a complete list of supported monitors, please refer to the FHDX user manual available within the documents section of our website, wintechusa.com. To begin, I'm going to connect an HDMI cable from the display to our HMI. Next, we'll turn on both the display and the FHDX. Now that we can view the HMI's project, I'll connect a USB cable from the HMI to the display. This monitor supports touch via a USB interface, and Wintec Labs has verified that it is compatible with our FHDX. If this is the first time that you are connecting the FHDX to a resistive touch display, you will need to calibrate your device. To do this, I'll connect an Ethernet cable from my PC to LAN 2 of my FHDX. The default IP of LAN 2 is 192.168.100.1. So we'll need to configure the IP of our PC such that it lies on the 192.168.100 subnet. To change our PC's IP, I'll open the control panel, select Network and Internet, and then click Network and Sharing Center. Within this menu, I'll select my Ethernet adapter, and within the Properties section, I'll double-click Internet Protocol version 4. I'll configure the IP of my PC, And now that our PC is on the same subnet as our device, I'll open my browser and enter the IP address of my FHDX within our search bar, and then click Enter. This will open the web interface of our FHDX. To log in, I'll enter the HMI's default password, 111111. However, if you have reconfigured this password, be sure to enter the appropriate credentials. Once logged in, I'll expand the Features tab and select Touch Calibration. And within the following menu, we'll select Start Calibration. On the monitor, a small crosshair will appear in the top left corner. Select this crosshair with your finger or a stylus to continue calibration. During calibration, the crosshair will move to each corner of the display before returning to the center. After which, you can select OK if you're satisfied with the calibration, or click Cancel, or allow the prompt to time out if you would like to reattempt calibration. Once finished, your device is ready for use. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.